All right, guys, big news. I got a proud to meet coming up late November, 23rd, 24th in New York. Haven't done a meet in about a year or so. So I'm very excited. Uh, as you know, I've been focusing on strongman, but because I had a bicep injury, I'm not giving up, but I'm giving my bicep time to completely recover. Now, maybe it's fully healed enough. To, maybe it's healed enough to do deadlifts, bench and squat, but not to be doing 200 kilogram stones. The new tissues that's formed there just isn't healthy enough and strong enough to handle the biggest strongman training that I would need to do to be at the competitive level. So, after this meet in November, and about early January or so, I'll begin strongman training again and give it another shot. Uh, Cause I'm definitely not giving it up. Still very motivated and determined to do well in strongman. It's just, you know, I had a bump in the road, taking some time off from that type of training, but I believe I can still hit some big PRs on the platform on the piloting stage. So, yeah, I don't wanna miss, miss out on this one. I am going for the three-weight record held by the king of the three-weights, Eric Lillybridge. He's been unstoppable. No one's touched his record in years. I think he broke him when he was 24, and I'm 24 myself now. So this will be right for my 25th birthday. If I can break it at the same age, that would be pretty interesting, right? So wish me luck. Deadlifts on the menu for today against bands. Now in strongman bodybuilding training. Maybe bodybuilding you actually can make some use of bands, but in strongman, I haven't used bands once for anything. So it's kind of fun getting back to some band work. It makes things a little bit more interesting rather than just picking something off the floor. The bands changes the dynamic of the movement and it forces you to accelerate 100% from start to finish because as the higher you get off the floor, the more tension the uh, in the band increases, right? So if you rip the ball off the floor and then slow down, you can't do it with the band because it'll pull you right back down to the floor. So it just teaches you to go 100% from start to finish and just keep pulling to your sticking points. This band might add about 100 to 200 pounds of tension at the very top. So as you guys know, I love the grip and rip style. Just getting down to the bar, ripping off the floor as quickly as possible. I find that the quicker you pick the bar off the floor, the quicker you get into position, the better for your mental. You don't have any time to psych yourself out. And for your back. The longer you spend sitting over the bar, hunched over, you are fatiguing your back, right? It takes effort and energy to stay in that position. It's not a comfortable position to stay here, right? So the less time you spend in that position, the strong you'll be. Now, one mistake I was doing, and I noticed this because I probably failed the mixed grip over four to 10 kilogram attempt uh, over four or five times because my callus, every single time I would get over four, uh, 900 pounds, four to 10 kilos would tear. And that's not because I'm not like moisturizing my hands or uh, my callus is building up too much. What's happening is I'm, um, grabbing the bar too quickly and pulling. So I need, when I get down to the bar and grab it, to hold it for a second and let my hand settle into the knurling and then pull. Just a couple of second delay before pulling. So it looks like this. This is the old Larry, right? When you do that, you're not getting 100% grip on the bar, your, your hand are settling into the knurling, right? And it's, it's the knurling and the bar is catching my callus here, right? So it's making it bunch up like crazy and it's pulling the callus off, especially when I get over 40 kilos, which is why every time I go 40 kilos, mixed grip, it tears. Not because I don't have a strong enough grip, right? It's because the callus will just completely rip off. And once that callus tears, there's no way holding onto the bar. So, the difference is still set up quickly, right? But let the hand set for a moment, just for a moment, for your 
skin and your hands to set into the knurling. That way, it doesn't rip off as easily. It would take a lot more for my callus to tear doing it that way than if I just grab the bar as quickly as possible and pull with max force. So, it's a small change, small change. Take a little bit more time to set up. Not too much, just a little bit more. It's necessary. If I kept doing it the old way, I would never pull in a 410 kilos with a mixed grip. It would never happen. And I believe my mixed grip deadlift feels much more powerful and comfortable than when I have a suit and straps on. It just feels so much more natural. And I'll reference Benedict, uh, Benny Magnuson. If I'm correct, he pulled over a thousand pounds with a mixed grip. So there's definitely, I think, no limit to how much your hands can hold in the deadlift. Two more, and then three more after that. So as you know, I've been pulling with a suit and strap the last few months. No mixed grip anything. Except maybe when I shook my, my huge cock. Time to do a mixed grip here. I guess that counts. Aside from that, no mixed grip anything. So my hands are just getting torn up right now. I'm almost worried that on the next set, it's gonna tear. And this is a concern right now. I mean, tearing a callus always sucks. Sets you back a couple of weeks while it heals. But he wants me to hit, by he and me and my coach, he wants me to hit a PR on the deadlift next week, a triple PR. So, if I tear callus right now, that's obviously not gonna happen. I'd rather tear next week on the PR than the week before doing band work. So, I'm gonna cut it just one set short, get it bunching up really bad, and I'm gonna go to straight weight. So, it's supposed to be five sets to three with this. I'm gonna just do four sets of three, and then move on to doing straight weight with more weight. No band, but more straight weight. By straight weight, I mean no bands, no chains, just plates, and the silver collars that weigh two, like two, two half kilos each.
it's all handed pretty sensitive now if I'm not pulling the strip for, for months. They're more susceptible to a callus tear. Especially if I had to go heavy in this today. There's no doubt. Knurling would cut deeper into the skin and it'd pull off more. Right now, the weight's not too heavy, so the callus is holding up. But you can see it's uh, only maybe one or two pulls away from a deep tear, which would prevent me from having any chance of a PR next week. But after a long layover, I like to say it takes about two to three weeks for the skin to harden and for everything to feel normal again. You know, the body adapts and memorizes what it used to go through pretty quickly. It's pretty amazing that way. Uh, as far as how it feels, it feels easy, but then again, I did just do four sets of three <laughs> with a very difficult band and I'm um, fucking tired as fuck by the time I got to this, so just hope I'm in good enough shape to at least be in a PR range next week. I think I will be, honestly. I think I will be. I haven't had any really heavy deadlifts in a while. Um, so I think I'll be in good shape next week. I'll be ready. Now just on to some really exciting accessory work that you guys just don't want to miss out on. I promise you don't want to skip the video ahead to the very end. This is the best part of the workout. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that wraps up another successful workout. I am now prepped for a PR next week. For a long time now, I've been hitting touching or yellow PRs with pound plates of thick iron Instagram plates that make whatever you're doing look bigger and heavier. However, now we're using the really skinny kilogram calibrated competition plates that make you feel like you're not lifting much of anything at all, and they're colorful too. So. There's a downside to it, but the upside is that I'm turning to the competition standard and no touch and go reps. Every rep from a complete dead stop, mixed grip, uh, hold at the top and the bottom, and that's going to be very different from my best touch and go PR. So even hitting 800 for three touch and go would be a PR. So stay tuned, it's coming next week. And then a couple more PRs at the squat bench after that. Like, subscribe, and notifications on. See you guys soon.